Half old bay? Half? Half old bay? Got it. one more of these guys just get it ready for me just slowly crack it open Thanks, sir
this? This is good. You don't want to overload this because uh, then yeah. they get jammed up. Yeah, it's super hard to get out when I feel good. Tell you what, boss. I'm gonna go. Uh, I'm gonna go wipe down the uh, tables real quick. I'll use that right. Oh, here. Pretty good. I already, I already, uh, I already put the umbrellas up, watered the flowers. Uh, I'm gonna take this rag. If you want to grab a new rag and just put it right there for me, please. And then, like I said, once we get rocking and rolling, man. Where is the sanitizer bottle? Got it. Make sure these tables are clean every day, throughout the day. Real quick, here's a look at uh, Echo Summit. Tourist tra traffic coming in on a Thursday. We're right at the bottom of Echo Summit and Myers, right outside of the city of South Lake Tahoe, in the Tahoe Basin, at the Roadrunner gas station. Show you a little bit of the outside here. Just planted these flowers. Not sure they're gonna make it, but we'll try and juice them up with some nutrients here shortly. Got uh, three picnic tables. Might bring three more up. We've been in this location since 2013. Started with a little hot dog cart. Right here, right where this trailer sits now. And uh, we got our first trailer. In 2017 when my wife was pregnant with our first son and then we got our second trailer in uh, 2021 I believe and that's this trailer here so the 14 foot the original trailer is now the special event trailer and the new trailer is here the 18 foot by eight and a half feet wide here's the back kind of some food art collage my wife came up with way better than the idea I came up with so we went with that it's got every single one of our ingredients on there the back of the trailer of course got to represent the brand again up there established 2013 uh, so it was 22 so if you see up there it says 1822 so for our trailers the way that we can tell them apart is the length of the trailer goes first then the year of the trailer goes second. So the other trailer is going to say 14-17. Uh, Here's our wastewater system we just hooked up. We hook it up to a battery. We love it now. Instead of manually pulling these totes out at the end of every shift. Sometimes it's two 40-gallon totes at the end of a shift. Now we just hook it up to a battery. And it pumps this all the way up this hose. All the way back to the wastewater drain out and uh, there's no more heavy lifting involved there predator generator can't live without it they don't uh it's the highest 9500 watt you can get outside of like a diesel one so that's kind of the one that we've always uh stuck with we had a honda 7000 which is 
a lot more reliable, but it's only 7,000 watts and we need more to more watts to push this trailer. This is a new addition right here. This is our Starlink. Starlink's awesome. Makes it so that we don't uh, we don't ever have an issue with internet or the POS system now, which you saw in the last video. And uh, I'll roll around to the front of it real quick. We've got a customer out here. There's our slogan, quality from the bun up. These are all of our suppliers down here. Sierra Meat and Seafood, Durham Ranch, Flokini Family. And that's the menu. That's the, the ongoing menu right there. This is our special. We got the elote dog, bacon wrap, corn, cotija, tahini, cilantro, mayo, lime wedge. And uh, we run specials monthly. In the shoulder season, we run them uh, sometimes weekly. So it just depends, but 200 pound propane tanks right here. So when one's empty, we switch to another. You can tell we're on this one right here because we got this little clip. And that tells every, every employee and myself that we are running on this one. So when I come to swap, I just take it here. I know which one to swap it with. I load it on my Tommy gate, bring it down instead of breaking my back anymore, taking it on and off from the tailgate. And then I use my little dolly over there. I roll it up and just throw it in the place. So, you know, it's a uh, primitive system, but you know what? It, it's a working system, so we don't complain about it. Again, another logo. This uh, little thing right here we thought was cute. We have on both trailers, so instead of it saying employees only, it says wieners and buns only. I think we're probably the only ones that get that joke, but we thought it was cute and clever. What's that? What'd you say? I broke open at one. Is it 25? Broke what do you mean? You broke? Oh yeah, 25. Yeah, so so your ones are your ones are 25, and your fives are going to be hundreds. Yeah. That's it. I just did a little outside tour. This is Richie, my man. He's going to be helping us out today. Hopefully we get busy. We can get some content. But if not, I give you a little bit more of a tour. We got our single door freezer. True. I always stick with True because every freezer and fridge breaks down, but True seems to break down less. Fries up top, chicken tenders, jalapeno poppers. We got our Beyond Brats right here. We got our uh, Beyond Chicken Tenders, our backup exotic sausages right there. Philly cheesesteak pucks, backup bacon. Some uh, mac noodles that we, uh, we do our homemade mac sauce and then we mi uh, mix it all in house in the trailer here with the noodles. All of your backup chili, your peppers, um, mac sauce. Back, back behind here, This is how our stuff comes up. So we process it and we vacuum seal it. So this is all sliced, ready to, ready to be portioned. Same with our, um, our pork belly back here. That we smoke ourselves in house. This is gonna be our pulled pork right here. We smoke it 16 hours, between 14 to 16 hours. Uh, process it, put a little bit of barbecue sauce with it and then we vacuum seal it like this. So when everything comes up into the trailer, it just needs to be portioned out. One well, of the busy months, we'll sometimes portion it at the commissary. Give you a little better view there. We'll sometimes portion it at the commissary, and then uh, we'll bring it up here already portioned. The less work we have to do, we can better serve our guests, be prepared for that rush. You got that, Richie? Cool. Double door fridge, again, we're looking at True, only ever True. I've seen too many of the other ones break down and I've also personally experienced them break down. We got our chopped onions ready to go, sliced tomatoes ready to go, lemon concentrate fresh squeezed in the back there. We squeeze it, we strain it, and then we portion this with uh, the correct amount of water, throw it in our lemonade machine, it cools it down. Some nice and simple syrup. Here's our homemade garlic aioli back there, homemade chipotle honey mayo, and of course, what every customer loves, the homemade ranch. You just can't beat it homemade. Store-bought does not compete. I've tried it, 
it doesn't work the customers notice if you see the mayonnaise we use best foods mayo $22 a gallon you know versus $10 a gallon for something that's not even close to as good so you got to use the good quality stuff this is what it looks like when it's broken down you guys have obviously seen it there's the pork belly pastrami the bacon mac ready to go tomatoes spinach and a nice little produce container that kind of keeps it this is our biggest waste I don't have enough room to have another one of these produce containers and the bags they send me sometimes are just too big for what we're using throughout the week so but that's our biggest waste besides that you know it's gonna be like the cilantro for the elote um, but everything else is pretty minimal waste You've got your bacon wraps right here ready to go in the container behind that is where we store all of our hot dogs everybody I'm sure wants to know where we get our hot dogs from it's a local sausage factory it's a local family so this is Flokini family 100% all beef 7 inch 5 to 1 there's the ingredients right there you got your item number you got your batch number and you're not gonna get this anywhere else you can see how red that hot dog is they also own Sierra meat and seafood which is where we get all of our uh, specialty meats from as well our, our elk our bison our boar um, so they're just a great family Flokini family and uh, we've been with them for probably eight years now and uh, they do a great job so nothing store-bought here you can't you can't buy this at Costco looks like we might be getting busy here so I'm gonna go ahead and but just real quick without turning it off trying to get a view Okay, just come in? Uh, yeah, right before this one. Got it. Right cool, let's go. I mean, let's get busy, right?
forget the jalapeno. All right, Richie, here's one Sonora. That's going to be for uh, number seven. Yep. for you Richie. I like bacon mat. Two elotes are ready for you? Yeah, then bring them both too. So you got 21 that way. While you're waiting for one, maybe the other comes faster. Two elotes right under the ticket for you. Boom, boom. If you're walking past two and you see this ticket's up here, grab that ticket on your walk past. Okay. That's the last fry for it and that ticket's whole. Boom. Tomato Sonoran and Sonoran.
I'm gonna buzz him for you, Richie. So what you got here, brother? Vegan? Hot dog? Another buzzer? What are we missing? Three now? Oh, we have three now. Wait. Wait, no. No. All right. Keep me posted. We'll be right with you, my man. Yeah, give me one second, man. What's up, little puppy? Hey, Richie. Do they want that bacon on that? All right, no bacon. Gotcha. I think it's look good, man. What are you looking for? The pen. Huh? The pen. The pen? There you go. You rack this bad boy. As soon as that goes out the window, just boom, put the pin back in the grenade. Thank you, sir. We got two Cali's on that? Two and a half fry. fry.
Let's just power it off again because the GoPro is too hot. All right, there's two Callies. We're just waiting on that half ride for that. We're waiting on that vegan, all right? Can't win in the summer, man. You think GoPro would be able to handle 100, 105 degrees? Guess not. But you would think. what's up with this this is leaking I'm not sure if it's leaking from that if it's cracked let's say like it might be cracked huh it's cracked. Dang. All right. so let's go ahead and put that in the hand sink and if you get a second you can refill up these spillage bands thank you sir yeah I've been at the other trailer too just uh, fill up those spillage bands there with water please
cheese. Get a second, can you drop me three hot legs? Just three hot legs right now should be good. in there real fast for you. Actually, three hot links in there fast for me, please. We still got a couple minutes of that beyond. I'm gonna make the uh, last ticket right there. And then drop like uh, four hot dogs too, please. You know, scratch the dogs right now. I want those hot links to hook quick. You can help uh, see if this guy needs help out there. Sorry, I didn't catch that. You can scratch the dogs right now. I want those hot links to hook quick. Okay. Perfect, thank you. Hey, what's up, man? What can I get going for you? Hey, what's up, man? Hey, what's up, Thank you. 
Two more hot links on there. We're gonna cook these on the fly. Now you might want to shut this window. Let's let me be get a little windy. Number seven's ready to go. Be right with you, my man. One second. Oh, you good? Yeah. This is ready to go to number four. Four and seven, you can pay. Let's just help the next customer. Let's just make sure we double check what we buy.
fries real quick. done a garlic parm yet today. The hard part
starts pouring on them. Yeah. Kind of use that back as a backdrop, right? And then you can sit it like that. Alright, there's one. right here until we need it. Just trying to figure some things out. 